just show you something that I do every time before I upload images to the web and that's a technique in Photoshop making use of something called the layer blend modes. Now when we get into Photoshop there are a whole list of blend modes available to us but the two that I want to concentrate on for this technique is one that's called screen and one that's called multiply. So if we just concentrate on the screen blend mode for the moment what we have in front of us is, doc is a document that has two layers on it. The bottom layer or the background layer is a grey rectangle and above it is the word screen written in white surrounded by black. And all I want to do is remove the black surrounding the word screen. Now being Photoshop there's probably a million one different ways that I could do that but I want to do this really really quickly and I can do so by using the blend modes. Now if we come over to the layers panel we'll see what we've got here. We've got our grey background layer, above it we have the word screen which is in white surrounded by black. And further up the layers panel we have the word normal and next to it we have these little two up and down arrows. If I click on those it reveals all these different words. We have dissolve, darken, multiply, colour burn and so on and so forth. But in the third section down is the one that we're concentrating on at the moment and that's screen. Now what screen will do for us is remove the black in a layer. So if we keep an eye on what we've got in front of us and I now click on the word screen we can see that it removes the black. Now moving on from that we've got the multiply uh, blending mode. Now at the moment we've got exactly what we had before virtually where we have two layers, a grey rectangular layer, background layer and on top of it a single layer which has the word multiply written in black but this time surrounded by white. So I want to get rid of that white and again I can do that by using the blend modes. Now multiply will get rid of white so all I'm going to do is click on the word normal again or these little two arrows here on the side to open up where it says all the different blending modes and in the second section down it says multiply so again if we keep an eye on what we've got in front of us and I now click on the word multiply the white has gone so how do I use this on a day-to-day -day basis well let's just say that I want to add my logo to this picture that I took of Tom Colley here before I upload it to the web and I want to put the logo in the bottom right hand corner of the picture here now here's my logo um, but we can see that at the moment it's only on a single layer so what I can't do is just remove the the text and the little logo behind it and drag it off this black layer and drop it onto the picture because it's on a single layer so to remove this black I'm gonna have to make use of blend modes so all I'm gonna do is drag the logo on top of the picture of Tom and then going to resize it to around about there and then position it in the bottom right hand corner and then I'm going to make use of the blending mode screen to get rid of the black so all I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my layers panel we have our original picture of Tom here above it the logo layer so I'm making sure that that's active because it's blue so we can see I'm actually working on that layer and then I'm going to change the blend mode of that layer containing the logo to screen to get rid of the black and when I do that we can see that the black disappears entirely now let's just say that I want to put my logo onto a picture where the area it's going to go is quite light. So if I put the, the white font here onto it, it might not necessarily show up so much. So what I'm going to have to do first of all is I'm going to get my logo. Before I add it onto my picture, I'm going to invert it. Now by inverting it, what I mean is anything that you see that's white will become black and anything that's black will become white. And I can do that by going up to the image menu at the very, very top of the screen here choosing adjustments and then we have an option here called invert but that also has a keyboard shortcut of command or control I so all I'll do is I'll hold down the command and control key on my keyboard press the letter I and it inverts it so now everything that's white or everything that was white becomes black everything that's black becomes white all I'm going to do then is drag that onto this uh, this second photograph again I'm going to have to resize it just very very quickly drag it down to around about there and then position it in this time in the top right hand corner of the picture. I'm then going to come over to my layers panel. Here we have our original layer here with the original photograph on it. Above is another layer called layer one that contains our logo but I want to get rid of the white in that logo so this time I'm going to use the blend mode of multiply. So I click on multiply and straight away all the white disappears. And that is generally something that I will do on a day-to-day -day basis when I'm before I'm going to upload images to the web. Now there is another uh, recent way that I used it and that was when I had a, took a picture of a guy called uh, Phil 
and we took a picture of Phil at night but the sky unfortunately was really quite featureless so what I wanted to do was add this moon in here because this moon that you see now wasn't originally in the photograph so all I did was download a moon off the off the web that I liked but you can see that it's surrounded by all this black but the picture where Tom is isn't completely black so all I did was drag the moon onto this picture resized it and positioned it where I wanted it in the sky and then simply changed the blend mode of that layer to screen because screen gets rid of the black and multiplying gets rid of the white and that is all there is to it.